Okay, well here's where we landed. Out of the garage into the kitchen. But, as you can see, I definitely raised this bad boy as needed. I drilled, you know, five holes per section. So, I want you to give a couple different angles here. Like I said, I know this is not the uh, most popular. I think it's the most secure. This is an awesome bass drum lift. Uh, this particular one is made by Mapex, like I said. But I've seen them on, <clears throat> on eBay and whatnot. Gibraltar makes another version of this. And although they offer a movement up and down here with a screw, um, I still think it does not get high. It only goes as high as 18 inch. Uh, or designed for 18 inch bass drum. So anyway, so I want you to look at this real quick. I'm taking a bunch of angles. So what I ended up doing is I, I took the, you can see it right here. I need a good shot of this. <clears throat> so I first went through the top side and I took that piece of metal that was very similar to this. It was actually the, up, the, the upper side of this. This is what is used if you're familiar with handyman work and whatnot. This is the other side of, uh, when you're putting down hardwood flooring with the, with the device you use to hammer it into place, I literally hacksaw, I hacksawed off the end of this and used that because of that lip, that little L section right there is the opposite on this side. Anyway, I used that on the bottom of this. You can see it kind of popping out of the bottom. That's So this part that's cut off right there is actually right there. Now I had to shave this. If you can look real close, you can see to the right, I had to shave that where that silver line is on the right side. I had to shave that in order for this to slide, in order for the bass drum lift itself to slide down on this metal because it was too wide. I didn't like this initially because it was a little too thin. You know, actually you can see if I put that like that. It was just too thin. A little too thin there. Anyway, so I had to hack. So I guess I could have used that to make it easier, but I really wanted it to use as solid metal as possible, or as much metal as possible. So, first thing I did is I drilled the five holes here. And, and the second thing that I did was I had attached this, the top section, to the silver section. Now, this I got from Home Depot and Lowe's. And so, I thought I was actually going to drill up the bottom, but that was not a good idea because obviously the bass drum needs to slide into that section, so I can't have any... Um, you know, screws to the bottom of that, so I decided to put it through the top. Right now it's very loose, I have not tightened it down yet. So I did that side and I thought that was fine. Actually, that would have been strong enough. By the way, I took out that silver section right here because the particular bass drum pedal that I have, I have an access, and actually it's, it's sli it, in order for it to slide in there, it literally goes right through here <clears throat> to where if it would have stopped right there, the bass drum beater would have been way too far from the head. So I had to actually cut that out with a hacksaw, which was not easy. I cut this section, then that section, then bent this down with two uh, pliers, bent it down, then I hacksawed it this way to get it off uh, and totally remove it. So anyway, so that's the section that got it in the bottom. Uh, so once again, I'm thinking, okay, well, I had the screws there and I had the screws there. That was good enough. But, you know, I'm thinking this is a base trauma. It's going to get kicked around, and I really wanted to make it stronger than that. So what I ended up doing is I flipped it over. In between the screws, I put a thin... I was trying to find a, find a thicker piece of metal, but I was honestly focused on using any kind of scrap piece of metal that I had. And that's what my focus was, to try to buy very little things to make this happen. So, so you can see that red piece of metal. And the only reason why I did that, and I put on one screw on the top and the bottom, basically I'm just taking this section and this section, and I'm basically just making them one. So this is yeah, pretty much permanent. Yeah, I can always take this stuff off, the top side off, if I ever wanted to do that. But I've got another bass drum lift for my 18-inch bass drums. This is one I need specifically for a, a, my 16-inch kick. Now, I'm serious. If you were doing I've even seen 14-inch kicks. And, man, this wouldn't work with a 14. So you'd have to make this even longer. So that's where I would probably use this one, the other side of this. I would actually take this bad boy, and I would do the same thing. And I'll put that right up here. I'll do the same thing right here for a 14 inch. But this is, you know, like I said, if you can find metal that's already bent in that position, you're good to go. But I could not, and I was trying to find something that I had laying around the house that I really wasn't using anymore. I definitely got my juice out of that bad boy. So, but uh, like I said, I, I, I'd gone on YouTube uh, for a while looking around for someone that had, had thought of this, and I had not seen this at all. So I said, well, let me go ahead and make it and contribute back to the YouTube community. 
because I know I've reached out to you guys for a lot of other stuff besides drumming and whatnot. But anyway, um, when this is totally down, I'll get the last video. I'll actually connect it and show you how it's lined up and uh, show you how it works. But I have it all loose here. But I think it's going to work. Actually, I know it's going to work. I've already looked at it. I just got to tighten it up. And, and there you go. Have a great day.